Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the Jada Street Fighter 2 Chun-Li exclusive review. Now, I know what you're saying right now. Wait, an, ex an exclusive Chun-Li? That's what your thumbnail said, and you know what? I'm just going to say it. It's a little bit of clickbait, but it's kind of not. See, why this is an exclusive is because during one of my live streams, everyone said they wanted me to order this so I could review it to go along with my Ryu. And I'm like, hey, you know what? I made some comment about like, hey, if I get enough super chats, I'll order it and do the review. Well, guess what? They all sent enough super chats. So I ordered it. Now it's finally come in. So technically, this is an exclusive review for my channel again a little bit of clickbait but it's never hurt anyone hell every other channel seems to be doing clickbait why shouldn't i i'm just kidding <laughs> clickbait is stupid anyway let's get to this figure right here anyway this is the jada chun li i do have the ryu i have no affiliation for uh fei long that came out but I needed someone to obviously do against Ryu. And until Ken comes out, which now has been pushed back, I do believe, till March. Well, guess what? So here it is. Uh, the box looks like an arcade game system for Street Fighter 2. You have all the uh, the buttons. You got your little dial and everything. You got two different head sculpts. You got your hand. You got your little kicking motion. And then you get a wonderful looking Chun-Li. And on the back, you have Wave 1. But you also have the characters... In the cross cell, which is also kind of like the video game cell. There you go. I love the fact that this does look like an arcade console. It's got Chun Li down here. So, anyway, you guys don't really want to watch this. You want, well, you don't really want to look at this. You want to check out this figure. And I know a lot of you already have it. But hey, you know what? If you haven't picked it up yet, Hello Dope Toys does still have some. And I know they are popping up all over the place. So, anyway, let's just get to it. But before we do, if you like the content that I'm giving you, take a second. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a review of some sort of weird toy or hell, maybe when I just go live. Let's take a look at this. All right, now she's out of her uh, plastic prison, and I have to say, if this is anything like Ryu was, these things are better than they deserve to be. Jada just knocked them out of the park, so quickly, let's take a look at this face sculpt. Uh, it looks really good. Now, it doesn't remind me of, I mean, it reminds me of Chun-Li, but I guess I'm so used to looking at the 16-bit version. Uh, it's not fully what you think of, but the eyes look good. They're looking straight. She's got these nice little eyebrows. Her hair is pliable, so it moves, and I wish, I wish some other companies would kind of maybe take this approach. You see her, uh, her little pigtails that she has here. All of this stuff is super pliable and moves. It does not get in the way, so... She can look down, look up. I guess her head kind of moves back and forth where the neck looks like it's on a joint along with the head here. Uh, the designs on the shirt. Now there's a little bit of paint that's missing. I can't say missing. They just kind of uh, missed the mark there, but not really a big deal. I mean, you really have to pin, pick at that, but everything else looks fairly good for the most part. You can see they kind of missed it right there, so... Maybe not the best paint ass. Maybe this was a Friday that it came out, but that's nitpicking. And again, what can you say? So let's get her into a T pose. No problem there. Arms move up and down. Double pinless right here. She got her little spikes on. Paint looks good. This arm, again, no heating at all. As you saw that I opened it up. Great Jean-Claude Van Damme, as they definitely should. No drop-down hips, which doesn't bother me at all. She got her thigh swivel. Big, giant thighs, which is just hot in, in real life. Look up Miss Carrie June, if you like a female with some big, thick, sexy legs. Double, double pinless joints there. Knees. Boot cut ankle cut now i'm having a slight a little bit of a hard time bending this knee there we go so it just needs to be loosened again if you feel that it's too tight hit it with a little bit of hot water or blow dryer there's no need to be super no need to be he-man or superman or whoever is super strong just to prove your point now 
right here looking at this skirt or whatever it is you someone can correct me it is so pliable i absolutely love it i talked about it on ryu here maybe ryu someone's gonna correct me i'm sure but either way that his suit is very pliable and i would love for gi joe or some of these other companies that are going to use an overlay to use this type of plastic or rubber it's just so nice so you look at her boots there's nothing to them other than they're laced up nice and easy and then we just get her to stand no problem we bring everything in there we go so now let's take a look at what she comes with so she comes with her very angry face which oof Look at that. Now that is a bad now that is a QC issue right there. Kind of look at that paint there. That looks awful uh, when you get close to the camera. That just doesn't look really good. Don't look at my thumbs. My hands look bad too. <laughs> she got her earrings in. Again, this is all pliable. But I have to say, I gotta pull off my, my glasses here. When you look close, and I believe someone else had something very similar. I think Matthew had the exact same issue, so I do have an issue with that. You know, you can see there's paint in the mouth and everything. I don't really like that hat anyway, but it's still that is somewhat of a QC issue. So anyway, how easy does the head pop off? Head pops off super easy. And then we pop on a new one. And look at that. Now she's screaming, but her face is kind of deformed. Now these are they're not sharp, but they do kind of get in the way. Pop her arm off or her hand off. And these bracelets do come off. And we're just gonna throw another hand on here. Then we got her karate chopping hand. So they come off super easily. Again, he this is just a straight karate chop. Same with this one. Now she does have her leg effects because she does that really fast kick. And then they give you this stand here. And I know I struggled with the last one when I was trying to do it. And the reason why I believe I struggled with the other one is because uh, you have to, like, just the translucent rubber that they use here, or plastic rubber, was really hard to see on the ball. Here's the actual ball here. Boom. So, this is just kind of kind of plug right in. I feel like something just is not right. Like this, look at that. This thing has this little plug on the top. And yes, I know exactly what I just said there. So, I'm assuming that's supposed to go in there. Man. Just kind of got to wiggle that in there, it seems. I don't remember that one having any issues like that. It just kind of plop, plop, fizz, fizz right in. But it's able to move, as you can see, in different directions of where you want it, in different heights. So, how easy does she pose? Well, we can quickly get her into a kick pose. And... Her knee seems a little loose, but I feel like she's not going to stand all that easy without using this thing. So that's a little disappointing. I had no issues with Ryu posing him, but we're going to get her in here. Look at that. So that's how she kind of poses right there. Gotta say, I'm not too happy. I don't really like this karate chopping hand as is. So let's get this thing back on here. Let's get her fist back on. I like the way she looks right out of the box. But I do, I'm not happy with that paint on that face. It definitely seems like a major, uh, just a distraction if you like that. But I can't get her on one, on one leg. As big as these, as big as these monster legs of hers are. She definitely does not want to stand all that well on one leg. There we go. Oh, well. Oh. 
that's not going to work. But let's see how we can get her into maybe another fighting pose. Now this is definitely where I do see a, <laughs> a help with the drop down pins. But look how much articulation you're getting right there. So you can move her into, sorry guys, I'm no longer looking into the camera. And we're going to get her kind of in a nice little fighting pose. So she is able to be posed. It's going to take a little bit of work to get her on one leg. This thing here, again, I guess it depends. If we point her foot here, it's probably going to go in. Ah, okay, now that makes more sense. If the foot's straight, then it just kind of goes right in there. I was kind of using it like a side kick, but this is more like a roundhouse kick. So you can put it in either three hole. That's what she said. So, depending on how high you want her kicking, <laughs> I think a lot of people might do the middle. I would definitely do uh, the top. I mean, no matter what I say, it just comes out absolutely dirty and wrong. <laughs> so, um, again, kind of disappointing with the face. Kind of disappointing that I can't get her to stand up on one leg. Ryu, 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 Ryu. People tend to argue with however you say it. Kind of here she is, you know, like Ryu here, if I remember correctly. He's got these big old feet, and and no problem getting him in one foot, as you can see. So, kind of disappointing. I mean, it's not like she has a really small footprint like some of these classified figures, but... Oh, well, I guess that's that's what you're going to get. So anyway, let's take a look at it and let's finish up this review here. Okay, so my final first thought on Chun-Li is a little underwhelmed. I think she looks pretty good, but then I have a little bit of QC issue with her face. And yes, it's the angry face and not the one that I would normally have on there. But again, it's right there. You can't not miss it. There's a little bit of paint issues. And again, I can deal with that. It's not the worst thing in the world. But I can get her to stand on one foot. And she is a martial artist. Now, yes, you do have this pretty cool stand and everything. That does make it work. And I like what Jada does. They do this also with the Mega Man toys. But all in all, like, you got to have her. There's no doubt about it. But the fact that I've had to wait so long to get it. And that isn't. Nothing to do with the person or the company that shipped it. They had to wait to get theirs. I'm a little underwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. But hey, you know what? Ryu's got to fight someone. That's it. All right, so there you go. That's Chun-Li. Again, there's only three Street Fighters out. Fei Long is one. I just have, I don't know, I have no connection to him. I wasn't a huge Street Fighter 2 fan. As I wasn't a huge arcade game fan. My friends decided to go play that rather than ride their skateboards. And if you've watched the channel, you know, I would rather have rode my skateboard than anything else. But either way, I do like the figures. And I do think Jada does a wonderful job for the most part. I mean, that Rayu is awesome. Chun-Li, again, she, didn't, she can't kick on one foot without using the stand. And that kind of disappoints me. Before anyone says like, hey, how long are you gonna keep a figure on one stand? On one foot, man, I've done it for quite some time. I let Deadpool up here for a while. Uh, I had Grunt running in uh, on one foot. I had I had Ryu on one foot for quite some time. So yeah, I actually do it. And if you know me, I don't use stands because stands are stupid. Learn how to pose your figure. So anyway, I am gonna get out of here. But before I do, if you're on social media, just take a second. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, a punk with toys. The Facebook group page, punks with toys. Because once you join, you are punk with toys. And last but not least, if you like this, if you like the content that I've been giving you, whether it be G.I. Joe or it be the Gargoyles and now the Street Fighter 2, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop a video. So what I am going to do is right up here, I'm going to drop the Ryu video. And right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the G.I. Joe Classified playlist because I just have a lot. Take care.